everyone, Mark the Movie Man here, and yes, I literally just came from the midnight showing of Dark Knight Rises, the latest from Christopher Nolan, and I'm going to try to give you a spoiler-free review. Now, if you've seen the trailers, you know the story. This time around, we've got Bane, who's got Gotham under siege, and we've got Batman coming from off a hiatus, basically, to try to save his city from Bane, and in the mix, you've got Catwoman. We've got all our original uh, love favorite characters back, as well as some new ones. Now, you want to really know, is this worth your time and money? Well, let's first start off with this script. Now, it's a script that I think that under most directors, it probably would have got away from them. It couldn't handle them, but Christopher Nolan wraps his arms around the script and really gives us a nice packaged story. Uh, you know, it never seemed forced, it never seemed cheesy, all the stuff seemed like a natural progression, and what's even better is we still get character growth. After two films, you wouldn't think you'd get character growth out of your main characters and even some of your uh, recurring smaller characters, but you do. You get some depth, you learn a little bit more, and you get some growth out of them, which is great to see in a new, f you know, in a third film of a franchise. What you also get, though, is an introduction to new characters who don't really get shortchanged at all. Bane, Catwoman, they all get their screen time, and we get enough interest in them to want to see what happens to them next. Either you love them or you hate them, but you got enough time for that to develop as well, all right? Uh, you know, I had some concerns with, uh, let's get to Cat Catwoman, okay? Anne Hathaway as Catwoman. I had some concerns when I heard about that she was going to be in that role until I saw the first scene she was in in this film. Once I saw her in the Catwoman role in this film, worries out the window, no concern, bought that she was the Catwoman, especially the Catwoman that was contained in the Christopher Nolan Batman world, and definitely sold me there. Fantastic performance by Anne, I thought. Also, I love the Bane character. Now, he wasn't handled quite the same as they handle him in the comic, but that's okay. Within the uh, Nolan world of Batman, uh, it definitely sell that he's a badass, that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe and step on the toes, among other things, on Batman, and definitely sells the arch-villain angle with him and you buy into his character that he is a badass, all right? Uh, you got some great moments in here between Bruce Wayne and uh, Alfred. I thought those were well done. Everybody gets some great screen time, and the performances by all actors involved, you could tell they really gave it their all for Christopher Nolan in this. I love Gary Oldman as Commissioner Gordon. I loved him, and he's a great character actor, and he really brings it all for this role that he is in in Dark Knight Rises. Okay, now production design, it's got the same look as the other two films fits nicely within the franchise and the special effects. I know digital effects should become second hand now in most action films, but still, it was great to see in this film there was no way to tell where the practical ends and the CGI begins. It was all really well done, flowed well, and it was great to see uh, some time and care taken in the special effects. Now, action scenes were fantastic. You could tell what was going on. There weren't a lot of close-up Michael Bayisms going on. You did have medium and wide shots and you could see the action which was great because Nolan has a lot going on in the frame in some of these scenes and you get to see it all all right so I loved uh, his direction of the action scenes and then even in the slow scenes you've got growth you've got dialogue that moves the plot along never at one point over the two and a half hour plus runtime did I feel it ever really slow down or feel I lost a little interest going when are we going to get to the next action scene not seen that in here definitely have movement by everybody and pacing is really well done, okay? And the trailer doesn't ruin all the special effects shots that are in this film, so you, there's no concerns there. Christopher Nolan brings us a nice, tightly packaged. If this is his bookend, his swan song, his last Batman, he goes out going for all barrels. He takes the strings that he had still loose from the other two films, ties them up in a nice bow, and presents them to you under your tree. Plus, he presents some new elements to where if he doesn't continue the franchise, if someone else does, he does set some things up where you are going to be interested in wanting to see another Batman film in the Nolan world, even, unfortunately, if Nolan's not going to be behind it. As you can guess, Dark Knight Rises gets five stubs. Now, if you're uh, going to throw in, if you're concerned about the audio in there, as long as your theater has the audio set up properly, you should hear all the dialogue fine between Bane, between Batman. Yes, he's got the grovelly voice, but it doesn't take away. You can understand him. And Bane, yes, you can understand as well. Uh, it's a little bit, you got to concentrate a little bit, but for the most part, that's handled very well. Doesn't take away from the experience of the film at all. Definitely worth your time and money folks and I definitely think you should go see it this weekend grab some friends and go as a group even better okay you will not be disappointed especially if you're a big fan of the first two films and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut till next time keep that ticket stuff